Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have the official schedule of content for this week, plus Alpha 318.1 finally went to the live service. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support, it is truly appreciated. So with the bank holiday here in the UK, the official content schedule was a day late, which I will run through here in a minute, as there isn't a lot going on. But more importantly, Alpha 318.1 was finally pushed to the live service. Now let's get this week's schedule out of the way first. On Tuesday, a law post taken from a previous jump point was posted to Spectrum, which was a new portfolio post taking a closer look at Widow, which is an inverse narcotic, which has become one of the most significant public health issues in the 30th century. Now, I'm sure many of you know what this is, but I reckon most of you won't care to admit it. This Wednesday, they will be reposting the Squadron 42 monthly report to the Spectrum. I have already covered this in its own dedicated video, which I will link below. I highly recommend reading this or watching the video if you are excited for Squadron, but even if your only interest is in the Persistent Universe, almost all the work going into Squadron 42 will come to the Persistent Universe as well, so it is certainly worth checking out. And then for Friday, it is just the weekly newsletter email. As they say, started us and live, we'll be back soon, but no dates on when, not sure if it's next week, or the week after or later. Now, of course, Inside Star Citizen, as we know, is on its four-week hiatus, so a very light week this week for official content. But talking about Alpha 3.18 and Alpha 3.18.1, they say last week the team's focus was on load testing and validating the game changes that went into the 3.18.1 build, primarily focused on the ASOP delivery feature, which is how we get our ships, which reduces the size of players' default inventories and thus the size of the global databases substantially, with the aim, they say, to alleviate some of the entitlement issues many have experienced. Now, in addition to this, for the infrastructure, an updated set of tools tailored for Alpha 318 load testing as virtual service clients were augmented and deployed to improve the resilience of the system overall, which they say is a huge step for service testing and allowing the publishing teams to perform large-scale traffic tests automatically, which I certainly hope will mean a quicker patch release cadence in the future and a much lesser buggy patch for the Evocati before they get their hands on it as this really allows them to do a lot of testing. Now, it also says that this tool also opens the door for chaos and destructive testing, which happened over the weekend, where random services are killed or restarted while the workloads are running. And this, they say, ensures alerting the recovery functions as it should, but also facilitates discovery, regression, and validation of issues that happen only under higher concurrency that are typically very hard for CIG to reproduce. So it kind of does that artificially, but as close to real-world testing as possible. Now, they say, armed with the data of the last few weeks, the team spent considerable time analyzing and optimizing the cloud footprint of the game to resize and adjust the layout of the clusters and regions where the game hosts services. And all of this has led to the launch of Alpha 318.1 to the live servers as of yesterday. Now, I will post the 318.1 patch notes below in the description so you can see all of the changes, the updates, the bug fixes, and the current known issues. It is important to keep up to date with those as well. But on top of this, there is also a free fly kicking off today, usually later in the evening here in the UK, generally around 4, 5, 6 o'clock p.m., uh, which will last until the 20th of April. And CIG say this will be very beneficial for them as it allows them to test the game's infrastructure with a larger number of players. And more players mean more data, more issues highlighted to be fixed more quickly. Now, on that note, they also state that there is a chance that we could see a last minute cancellation of the free fly if everything kind of goes to tosh. But this is only if there are catastrophic issues upon rolling out the 318.1 build to the live servers. I have not heard anything yet about it blowing up, but then I don't think the free fly has kicked off yet. So let us hope that all of these changes make the difference we need. But there you go, quite a roller coaster ride of a patch. And here's hoping that all goes smooth for 318.1 and soon after 318.2, which is more of a hotfix patch for the game issues or in game issues rather than the back end work whereas 3.18.1 is for getting people into the game who have not yet been able to, amongst other things. And if you are a new player looking to get into Star Citizen for the first time, 
these free flies are certainly the best way to do so as it allows you to try it out without spending any money as playing a game in development is not for everyone and it can be very challenging so do keep your eyes peeled on the rsi website for more details and all you'll need to do is just create an rsi account on the website and then when the time comes download the launcher and download the game now if you do have a friend who is playing star citizen and they've been asking you to try it do them a solid and ask them for their referral code as this will not only grant you 5,000 United Earth credits, which is in-game currency, but also there will be a referral bonus, which we are yet to hear what this will be, but oftentimes they are small ships or vehicles. So it's certainly worth hanging on for more details on this. By all means, do use the referral code in the top left-hand corner of the video and in the description if you don't know anyone in-game yet, that will be very much appreciated. But I do hope that all goes smoothly for you and that you A, get into the game fine, because a lot of people have been struggling, but B, have a great time, as for me, at times, Star Citizen can be the greatest gaming experience ever. Now, from me this week, I will be working on getting the Persistent Universe monthly report released as soon as possible, as it is always full of great development updates, and I'll be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother today and tomorrow, 2 hour 5 p.m. BST. I'll be playing some 318.1, it seems, there is no Star Citizen Sunday for me this week, as Inside Star Citizen and Star Citizen Live are not happening this week either, so there isn't really need for a, uh, a video covering the week. But there you have it. That is what is going on this week in the world of Star Citizen. I hope 318.1 goes well for everybody, and those who have not been able to get in are now able to get access, and that we're not waiting too long for 318.2. I know they want to get it out in time for 319, which is coming along for Invictus Week in mid-May, at which point I will be then getting on with my Zero to Hero, as there's no point with 318.1 having a wipe and 318.2 having a wipe. So do bear in mind, when you play 318.1, everything from 318 will be wiped. That includes rep, alpha UEC that you've earned, and anything that you have bought with in-game credits. Same will happen for 318.2 when that comes. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing. Also hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, it does the channel a big favour, and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.